What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing something a little different today. I am going through, you know, my Instagram, my Twitter, and I'm going through and picking out questions that YouTubers don't answer. Now, this is going to be more into my life than I've ever put out there before, so I hope you enjoy it. I don't really care. I like to be transparent. And let's start off with the question I got the most, and let's throw them up on the screen. Y'all asking, how much money do I make? Um, so basically, YouTube uh, YouTube is not my uh, main source of income. Um, YouTube is something that I do and I you know, make money off of, but I, it's not like the main thing that I make money off of. So let's get into it. So I haven't uploaded for the last three months on my channel. I've uploaded a lot more in December. In December, you get paid three times as much as you do for the whole year. So, you know, your boy's a businessman, so I threw up some more videos. Um, I like making content, but I also get rewarded a lot more. Now, for the last three months, this is what I've made. Uh, November, October, September, whatever, I posted maybe once or twice, if that, in those months. Now, it also depends on videos, CPM, how much you get paid. Some videos, they get paid more, so, Here's his for, for example here. Here's two videos I posted, right? Here's one video 160,000. Here's another video 170,000. I don't really know how much. I know they're equal in views. I just looked at them. Now, this one made me a thousand dollars. This one made me 700, 300 dollars difference, same amount of views. You, you don't know how much money you're gonna make off YouTube, to be honest. You don't know how much money you're gonna get. For example, this video has 400 and something thousand freeze reaction video. I made this much off of it, right? Holy shit, what the fuck, that is amazing. But then you look at this, right, it has 100,000 less views, and I made this much off of it. Some videos hit some, like, it's, I don't, I don't get it, I, I don't know. I know, like, December you get paid a lot more. I think July, because it's the start of summer. But, like, it also depends how much you're posting. So, you know, they saw this September, October, and all that, and I got, like, made 700, 800, whatever it was, because I, I wasn't posting. But if you look back in April when I was posting, I made somewhere around this amount. It all depends on, like, your views. Um, it all depends on, like, how much people, how, how long people watch. If the videos are over 10 minutes, you can put multiple ads on your videos. There's so much that goes into, uh, a YouTube video. And some videos have a high CPM, some don't, you know, uh, and that's basically how much money I make a month off YouTube. Um, and yet again, YouTube is not my main source of my income because the last three months, you know, you saw what I made. If that was my income, I would not be able to afford uh, where I live. That is pretty much the YouTube rundown. It's so it's such a roller coaster. I, every month, I don't know how much I'm gonna make. Uh, it, it depends how much you upload to. So there's, there's so many factors that go into it. It's just uh, basically that's. If hopefully that answers your question um, in terms of how much yeah, money I make off YouTube. What I make in general, that's something I probably not gonna answer. How much do you normally make on a brand? Brand deal. Um, this also depends. Some brand deals do a, a, a tier, so if it gets more views, you get paid more. Some just do an average 30 second thing. Also, each brand's different. Each brand has a higher budget. Each brand has a lower budget. How much I offer a charge? Average? I, I don't know my average. I mean, like three to four k maybe. Sometimes more, sometimes less. Depends how much they offer, how much they ask, or what they want me to do. Um, the more they want me to do, the higher I get paid, the less they want me to do, the less I'm going to get, you know? It all depends on that. Does hate affect you? Um, a couple years ago, it, it did. I used to get hated on a lot. Um, not anymore though. I kind of just got numb to the feeling of hate, to where the point I get so much that it doesn't even bother me anymore. Like, just people commenting on my life to, I, it, it, I feel like it comes with social media now. Like, you can't expect to be on the internet and not get hated. It's the sad truth of life. I come to terms with it. People are going to hate me. Some people are going to love me. And just enjoy the people that love you and just keep going and don't worry about the people that hate you. There's something going on in their life that made them jealous or made them who they are. And if they're hating on you, they're just, they're just mad at their own life. And, you know, that shouldn't affect my happiness. Other people, my own happiness should come from me and I shouldn't seek that from other people. How many YouTubers have you hooked up with? I've only hooked up with one YouTuber. It was, it was years ago before I wasn't even a YouTuber. I don't really mess with YouTubers because as you can see on Twitter, sorry, this plane's going by, but as you can see on Twitter and all that stuff, you see relationships don't really go well. All right. Nah, we wait, we wait. We got, we got question to answer, but I guess you gotta go home. Christmas with the family. You can see on Twitter, like, the whole, every YouTube relationship when they break up on Twitter and all that stuff or on, in social media, it does not end well. It does not go well. So I try to stay away from, um, 
you know the the big youtubers because like like I said it just doesn't mix well um, and I don't want to get involved in that do you get really upset over how much the roommate uh, the roommates make fun of you the only thing I don't like is the roommate videos uh, with all the roommates and it's like uh, answer your question like who's the messiest or you know the roommate tag and I feel like everybody just picks on me in those things and it's just like I, I hate being in those videos so I kind of just sit there and don't really talk and just get it over with because I know everybody's gonna pick me and it's bullshit and have you ever paid for subscribers or followers? I have never paid for a subscriber or a follower. Um, if you do that, there is something wrong with you. Why would you pay to make yourself look better? You're so involved with social media. Like, it's kind of like a drug that you need to, um, you kind of need that. Oh, I'm going to pay for all this subscribers and followers to make me look better to the world. Who the fuck cares? Get it naturally. If people want to follow you, they can follow me. I'm not going to buy or pay for that shit. I think that's the stupidest thing you could ever do. Why you drink so much? I don't know why people think I drink a lot. I drink maybe once a week at least, I would say. Um, there's so much going on. There's always somebody's birthday. I have so many friends. There's always some event. There's always a lot of things and I get a lot of social anxiety. So when I'm out, a couple of drinks like makes me feel, you know, calm. But then again, all my friends are out drinking so I, I have a good time with them. Just me enjoying life. I, I don't black out or get drunk every single day. It, I, maybe once a week I drink with my friends. That's me enjoying life. I don't think that I'm, I don't drink that much. Maybe you drink less than me, good for you. Maybe you drink more. Everybody has, you know, if you can work and pay for your bills, I don't think it's a problem. Have you ever liked Franny? I have never liked Franny, never had a crush on Franny. I love Franny Dave. She's literally the most beautiful girl I've ever met. She's like a sister to me. I had a crush on her. People say that, oh my god, they dated or they're in love with each other or Corey's in love with Franny. None of that is true. We're literally just best friends. But whoever she ends up with, that guy would be the luckiest guy in the world. But yeah, me and her are just really good friends. But assume what you want, I can't take your opinions away from you. Have you ever demonetized by YouTube? I haven't been demonetized, but here is a bunch of stuff that has happened to me all over the screen. I have uh, had my all my videos copyrighted, like hundreds of videos. There's just a couple screenshots, but you can see that cash with the extra means I make no money off of it. Pretty much is demonetized. Why do YouTubers act different on camera than in real life? YouTubers act a little bit different um, because you kind of have to hype up your personality, more energy. If you sat there on YouTube and you were like, Hey, how's it going? Nobody would really watch you, nobody would really care. It's depressing, you know, it's like you have to up your persona when you're on camera. And then when you're off camera, you kind of have time to relax and just like mellow down, you know, chill out. So I, I feel like that's why there's like a difference. Do you make up stories or such for clickbait? I have never made up a story. I've never made up a story for clickbait at all in my entire life. And I never will. I think making up stories is just telling a huge lie. I, pe I feel like YouTubers exaggerate the truth. And that's where they, they get the clickbait from. But I've never done that. How do your parents feel about you choosing to have a YouTube career? My parents, actually, uh, if they don't really care. They're like, uh, do what you do. Whatever makes you money. Um, have fun with it. Good, good luck. And enjoy your career. Enjoy your life. They're very supportive of whatever I do. Which is amazing. Uh, how much cash was your biggest brand deal? I think my biggest brand deal, I think I got a couple of years ago. I don't get many brand deals, guys. All I'm saying, I think my biggest was 7.5K, which to compared to a lot of YouTubers is not a lot. I think that was my biggest. Do you think you'd be where you are right now without KNJ? I don't think I'd be anywhere close. And I know it. They probably know it too. I don't think I'd be anywhere close to where I am today if it wasn't for Keno JC. Did you make your merch for the money or because you wanted to release merch? I released merch because I wanted to make clothing that I wanted to wear. And I got that for free. Underappreciated merch. I've just made clothing that I wanted to wear. And then I was like, if you guys want to wear it too, here you go. Um, I don't make a lot of money off merch uh, like other YouTubers do. But yeah, I made it because I wanted to wear the clothes. Um, and it's also cool when I'm out and I see people wearing my merch. I'm like, oh, there's there's somebody that supports me. I want to say hi. Or I recognize them. Or, you know, people wearing my stuff. I'm like, oh, thank you so much for supporting me. It's like a cool, call, uh, cool way of uh, seeing who supports me and stuff like that. And if you can't afford merch, then obviously, like, it, I know you still support me. I see your tweets and all that stuff, and I love you just as much. This, just because somebody can afford it and somebody doesn't, doesn't mean I love I love everybody equally. What's your most expensive impulse buy? Uh, my most expensive impulse buy was actually this camera that I am filming on today. I went there, I think, to Sammy's camera uh, like a year ago because my camera was broken. And they're like, yeah, we're gonna have to send this part in um, because the focusing isn't working. It's going to take like two to three weeks to come back. And I was like, well, this is, I need to film these videos and I don't have a camera. I could have borrowed some other people's cameras, but I went upstairs and I was like, oh, I am buying this camera uh, with this lens. Cost me around like 5K. And this is my biggest impulse buy and best buy because I love this camera to death.
Have you ever cheated in a past relationship? I have never cheated, and I have only had one relationship, and if you cheat, you're a piece of shit. Once a cheater, always a cheater. In the future, will you and Crawford be living together? Um, I think once the lease is up here, we will be moving in together. I'm not too sure. We we're looking at places, but I think that's the best bet. So the CNC channel in 2020 is going to be thriving. Plus the podcast. Are there some companies you said no to doing a brand deal and why? I've done, I've said no to doing brand deals with companies. One, because I don't like the message they're relaying. Or two, the people that are involved in the company I don't like. Or three, the, the, the thing that they are selling is not good. It's some shitty thing. And I'm like, no, I'm not promoting this. So I've said no to multiple brand deals, yes. How do you feel when someone brings up Half Circle or the Freezer video in general? Um, I hate it. I wish I was never in that video. I wish Half Circle was not a thing. But at the end of the day, the more I say I hate it, the more the people bring it up. And some people love the video. I got a lot of hate from it. What do you fucking do? Um, at the end of the day, I've kind of just learned to accept it. It's out there. There's not much I can do about it. Hopefully, in the future, that doesn't ruin some gig of mine of getting like a, a movie or something. They're like, watch this. They're like, oh, you saw this video and now you we don't want to work with you. Uh, hopefully, that doesn't happen to me. All right, last question, guys. Do you actually like it when fans approach you and ask to take pics or would you avoid it if you could? I would not avoid it. I actually love when fans come up to me and take pictures. I like putting a face to the people that watch me on the screen. Um, I don't get to see that. I don't get to see you guys in person. So I, I love taking pictures. Uh, if it wasn't for you guys, I would not even be where I am today or have the influence I do. So uh, it's if that's a simple way of saying thank you and giving back, then I will always say yes to a picture. And if you guys are nervous to come up with me, please come up to me. Say hi. I love talking to you guys. It makes my day. On that note, woo! Uh, hopefully I answered some questions that YouTubers don't answer. Uh, exposed my YouTube money. I exposed a lot of things in this video. Um, I, I love you guys so much. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Turn on post notifications. Yeah, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Uh, I love you guys. Uh, peace. E-F. Out of here, brother truckers. Peace.